Let's look at the CRV scroll compressor just replaced. 134 refrigerant. You see the placement of my low side clamp to get superheat. 14 degrees superheat. Now I'm going to take it from this location and I'm going to move it to this location. Almost 16, 17 degrees of superheat. Now I'm going to take it from that location and I'm going to move it to this location. 22, 23 degrees of superheat. What is happening here? Placement of your clamp to take superheat is really, really important. You have, what we're doing is we're picking up heat because this metal pipe is exposed to the under hood heat. We got hot coolant, we have air blowing this way. But not only that, we got a hot uh, radiating engine. What's radiating heat, you have convection. Convection heat is going over the surface. This is about radiant heat, especially right here. You have the exhaust manifolds radiating heat up and striking the pipe. And so as the refrigerant is moving along the pipe, it is picking up heat. And you just watched our superheat go from 14 to 16 or 17 to 22. And as you go along your journey, you pick up heat. But your superheat that is the closest to reality after your expansion valve, because your expansion valve controls your superheat, is as it exits. But you have to be careful because see this plastic could get really, really hot and it can pick up and give you a false superheat. If you have a hot catalytic converter right there, or exhaust manifold, and you have 190 degree air blowing over this 140 degree air, you can heat this plastic up so hot, the little thermal sensor that is right down inside there, let me see if I could do this. That little thermal sensor that's right there behind those metal clips there, you can get this plastic so hot, it starts raising the temperature of your sensor. So if you really want detailed, not just general, you know, have a good system and you just want to take some general readings. If you want detailed readings, you must wrap, say a few, the fluffy, I like the fluffy cotton ones better than these ones, but you have to wrap them up really good and you have to stop the air from getting down here. So when you wrap, you're gonna to wanna to wrap so air cannot even blow from the backside there. Put a couple wrappings on there as you have it on the cold pipe. Then you put aluminum foil over it with the shiny side facing out. Now you can take your most accurate readings. All right, just a uh, tech tip day. See you guys later.